Hi everybody and welcome to another video. My name is Richard Seidlitz and I'm the owner of redpants.lol. Today I am replacing the convertible roof modules, the CRM, in a DB9 Volante. The early DB9 Volantes and Vantage Roadsters had an issue where the CRMs would go bad and it would cause a whole bunch of electrical warnings. It's a very scary thing to see when you get in your car, you start it up and you have all these electrical warnings. The um, issue is that some a bunch of electrical signals go through this computer before they ever get to the instrument cluster. And if this computer goes bad, it, send, it basically says that, hey, everything is wrong. So the computer is located up inside. It's, it's right here where these connectors are which is where I pulled this out of, up inside of the rear left-hand fender well. That's the driver's side in US cars. All you have to do is take off the fender liner, well, take the wheel off first, take off the fender liner, it's a bunch of T30 Torx bolts, nice and easy. There's this back panel sits up here like this, and you'll see it just sitting up there. It's got four T30 Torx bolts as well, so you only need one tool to do this job, which is quite nice. Um, except until you get to these connectors. Now these connectors are actually pretty tricky because on one side, it's got tabs on the side and you can pop those to the side and pull out. But on the other one, it's got notches in the middle. And these notches, I'm gonna try to make it so you can see. You can see where that notch line is right there, but basically you have to spread out this housing, this female end of this connector here, you have to spread that out to allow you to pull that out. So Claire helped me with it, she's standing behind the camera. Um, she did the pulling while I did the spreading, which sounds, I'm not gonna go there. Um, whew. Are you blushing? I think you're blushing. <laughs> anyway, um, so it's, the trickiest part about this is just getting these connectors out. On this one, it's actually really easy because it's got that side one. You can see that it's got that one notch right there that you pull that off. The other one's actually down inside of there. But once you have that one off, you can actually pull that out. The main thing to do um, that you want to keep in mind when you're removing the connectors from this computer is that this computer's pretty much useless now. The thing that you want to be careful of is not damaging these connectors because these are part of the actual wiring harness that's inside the car. Replacing these is extremely expensive and extremely difficult. So be careful with these connectors. The computer itself, no big deal. So set that aside, here's the new one. Looks the same, they are different. Um, in fact, they are actually different going from the DB9 to the Vantage. So if you do need one of these, please let me know. I can get these for you. They're several hundred bucks, but it does fix a lot of issues and they're easy to install as I'm showing you. Um, they are different from the Vantage and the, DB, the between the, the Vantage and the DB9, so keep that in mind as well. Last I checked, I priced a, this one for the DB9 and another one for another guy with a Vantage about a week apart, so the prices were, you know, hadn't changed, and the Vantage one was more expensive, so keep that in mind as well that they aren't going to be the same price either. Um, but it's pretty easy to get to. Like I said, T30 Torx bolts for the fender liner, pull that out. Four T30 uh, Torx bolts for the um, CRM itself pull it out. This one did have a uh, large zip tie, which all you have to do is snip it and it comes right off. That was holding the connectors into the uh, computer. So it's a nice thing to keep in mind is you may want to replace that as well, just to have that extra security. Although everything is really nicely tightly packaged up here. There is extra wiring length here, so you can get some space to pull this out and work with it. So it's not like you're trying to work up inside of a cramped area. It's actually pretty simple to do. The hardest thing, like I said, is getting these connectors out, uh, specifically the one with the notches that are on the side. So the other thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is that once you replace this CRM, you have to have the dealership flash it. All the electrical gremlins will go away, except your convertible roof will no longer work until a dealership goes and flashes it. So some dealerships will do it for free, which is very awesome of them, but the mechanics need to actually make money, so it's not about the dealership, it's actually about the mechanics. They'll probably charge you between half an hour and an hour of labor. Um, sometimes they'll do a flat rate of 50 bucks or something like that. It really depends on the dealership. They're all independently run. Um, if you have any questions, please ask them. I, every dealership I've ever worked with has actually been really awesome uh, to, to deal with. So um, that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, please let me know, rich at redpants.lol or the contact page of my website, www.redpants.lol. See you next time.